Hello, today's video is about why two negatives equal a positive. It's about directed numbers. A negative number is in the opposite direction to a positive number. For example, we have temperatures above and below zero. We have heights above and below sea level, etc. Here is a number line with a student. Let's call him Stefan. Here he is looking in the positive direction. Now he is looking in the negative direction. When you add a number, you look in the correct direction and walk forwards. Positive 4 means Stefan looks right and walks forward to plus 4. Negative 4 means Stefan looks left and walks forward to negative 4. What happens when you add numbers? Here Stefan adds 5 plus 4 to give 9, obviously. Here Stefan adds negative 5 and negative 3 to give negative 8. Notice he is walking forward in both of these sums. When you subtract a number, you walk backwards. Here is Stefan solving 5 subtract 3. Not too hard as he is facing right for both of these. Here is Stefan solving negative 5 subtract negative 3. Again, he stays facing left for both of these as they are both negative numbers. Now let's compare 5 plus 3 to 5 subtract minus 3 or 5 subtract negative 3 and see how Stefan solves them. 5 plus 3. Stefan looks right for both numbers and walks forward. The answer is, of course, 8. 5 subtract negative 3. Stefan looks right and moves forward 5. He then looks left for the negative 3 and walks backward as it is subtraction. The answer is, of course, 8 again. So subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. We could also compare subtract positive and add negative. Here Stefan does negative 5 plus negative 3. And here he does negative 5 subtract positive 3. The same answer. If you are keen and you would like to play with the program I used to make Stefan move about, there's a link below. Thank you.